Well, here I am today. I don't know why. We got lots of water coming down. And I guess the new buzzword in the meteorology, the meteorology, I don't know, however you say that, game is a uh, atmospheric river. So I guess there's an atmospheric river and well, they ain't wrong describing it that way because it is dump in. But we are mostly dry inside. I'll take you in there. And I drove the truck today because I just wanted to get this out of my truck and into the house. So let me go do that. Can you hear it? Got some major rain still coming down. Let's see what it looks like out here. Oh yeah, it's still just dumping. But we got all the wood in. You know, those were there before. But I pulled in all the plywood and got it stacked up back here. Looks like we are back up to 14 sheets more. Well, 15 because there was still one here. I did cut one and for the little far section up in the front there. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna, I don't even know what I'm gonna do today, really. I'm just kind of organizing, I guess, because uh, it is just dumping way too much to try to even just get up under that plastic there. It's just crazy out. Um, actually really glad I bought this raincoat the other day, uh, a couple weeks ago. It's waterproof and it's worked today for sure. So I also bought a ton of two by fours. Just, I had these ones here for quite a while. Um, but I bought a whole stack of two by four by eights. I think I have what, six, 20, about 32 or four of them. And then I bought like 14 two by threes. Um, Cause what I'm doing is all these old interior walls, I'm gonna rebuild them obviously, especially cause I you know, raised the roof, you know, just a couple inches. So I'd have to redo them anyway. But I think like these walls are two by threes, but I think I'm gonna, I'll probably upgrade these ones to two by fours, but all the ones that are like on the walls that go this way in the halls, um, you know, these single wides, every inch counts in the hallways. So I'll probably keep those at two by threes. Um, although these are one by fours, which I might have to keep. Nah, not necessarily. I was thinking I might have to do it because of uh, the pipe, but that goes behind the sh toilet there by the shower. So no full-size pipes have to be drilled through the, the base plate here. So I could do two by threes here, but I don't know. We'll see. I gotta have to make at least one wall. I'll, I'll at least make the wall in the hall on that side of the house out of two by threes going that way just for that extra inch of space but every other one i'll probably do two by fours um and then like the walls between the bedrooms and the living room i'll in insulate them on the inside as well for noise reduction probably won't insulate this one because it's just the kitchen and the bathroom but i will insulate this one between the bedroom and the bathroom so anyway that's what we got going right now and so yeah, I'm just gonna do some more organizing and I don't think there's really anything to tape today because I don't, like I said, I don't think I'm gonna do the trusses back there or anything like that. So nothing really worth taping while I work. So we'll just check back in after it cleaned and organized and show you how pretty this mess is. Anyway, catch you in a second. Well, all right, I'm in the back end of the house here in the back master, future master bedroom. And, you know, this is obviously all rotten up in here. And you have this like a one by three that originally runs down all these trusses. And that's pretty much the one thing that tied them all together and kind of strengthened this roof up because the original uh, tin roof, I don't think it's actually, you know, stapled to the trusses. It just sits on there and it's stapled on the outer ends. But yeah, this really strengthens everything up, but when I was making the template, I had to find one of the roof trusses that wasn't rotten. And this one where this little cut is right here, that was one that was actually like not rotten at some point. 
in the truss, which every other one is. So I cut it out, so I had to cut that little two by three and it definitely made this whole roof dip back here. And so I'm just, even though these are new trusses, I'm gonna support them. So I kicked this two by three in here and really raise it. It probably went up about six inches. Um, so I will screw this two by four into the brace there. I'll probably do one there obviously and then one on the other end of this uh, four by eight sheet here. So just two back here so that if I get any snow uh, this year, it won't collapse this back end. I have enough, you know, cross bracing with these other interior walls to not worry about the bathroom area. And then obviously before the or after that, it's all new stuff with the false wall in the middle anyway. So that's gonna be super solid, but yeah. So I will just screw this in and screw that one in. Yippee skippy. So yeah, I was talking about all those stink bugs and I was sitting in my warming tent and this guy was trying to come back and hang out with me. Nope, thanks. All right, it was a short day today. Uh, my main goal is just to get uh, the plywood and two by fours out of my truck and get them brought down here. But yeah, just too rainy to really do too much. I mean, there's plenty of stuff I can do in here. I'm gonna get to the plumbing at some point here probably and then this back corner over there needs some joist work but anyway it was nice to see that the, the plastic sheeting is working it, we don't have leaks in here for the most part I mean it's still a little wet but that's just because this was super soaked and then I folded up some wet plastic the wet plastic sheeting that had been sitting over here so it left some more water here but Clean this section up today. I just kind of moved all the scrap wood and all the good wood in this back corner. And oh yeah, I got me a, a free radio Bluetooth speaker thing here uh, for buying a different tool on Black Friday. This thing's really cool. It's got like uh, two speakers up front, two in the back, and then underneath is a subwoofer. It also gets radio. And then, you know, you have your battery power in here. You can hook your phone up to charge your, your phone. This can also plug in to be a battery charger. But the sound is so much nicer. I have the smaller Bluetooth speaker that I bought a while back. Uh, but the sound on this is so much better. Let's press this, hold this button and I should turn it off. Anyway, it's a pretty cool little thing. Glad I got it. But today, I, I pulled these old lights that were you know all bundled up down there up out of there and just kind of hung them up there to get some light in here um just temporary i mean i didn't even i just put some screws in them but above the wood so it's just laying on there not bolted into it because i don't know where they were they will be permanently set and they're obviously not going to be those outlet boxes and whatnot so it was just nice to get them up so i got more uh, lighting back here but uh, still a little you know the tarps are there so it was that's why it's really wet back there and i did get this really soaked before i left last time and for the most part it's pretty dry there's a little dripping in this back corner it's just coming down the front of this uh, wall up here which is fine, I expected it. And then this whole front shear wall is gonna be replaced at some point. When I knock down that wall, then I'll get this uh, shower insert out of here. I'm gonna get a three piece or whatever you call them, uh, unit to go in there, a little more modern. I'll keep this, cause at some point I might build a shed over here that's kind of like a, a guest house and maybe I'll put a bathroom in it. I don't know, we'll see. I can build up to 200 square feet without a permit. So we'll just put a makeshift bathroom in there that's not legal, but we'll do it anyway. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's what we got. And just did a bunch of cleanup, moved this thing here to put some miscellaneous screws and bolts and nails on. I got a few tools in there that I don't mind leaving here, um, but better to have this as the catch all instead of the top of the the dryer, although I'll just leave, you know, food and music on that one. But yeah, this is a free curb pickup. 
that I'll use as like a garden piece, you know, garden shed piece at some point where really like that this thing goes up and down. It doesn't right now, but you know, if I work on it, you can lift up on that. It'll be pretty cool. But anyway, I rambled enough. Hope you guys enjoyed the little update here, even though there wasn't much action at all today. But uh, yeah, so I've never said it before, but yeah, we do that whole like and subscribe thing. Getting closer to that 1,000 mark. Yeah, I mean, it's slowed down every one since I hit the 700 mark. Um, just slowly creeping up. So yeah, it'd be cool to get there so I can make tens of dollars a month <laughs> on ads one of these days but if not no worries it's all good i just enjoy showing you guys what i'm doing here and i always appreciate the feedback all right take care since there was a definite lack of action i thought i'd just give you a little clip of my little birdie friend here this was when i was making my tiny house he was inside there and i brought him outside and he sat on my truck and let me give him all the lovings good times